Hi everybody, here we are in Design Space and I'm going to take just about five minutes of your time today and give you a little bit of a tutorial on slicing in Cricut Access. Slicing means to get rid of part of the image that you have on your screen. And let me give you an example. I'm going to put a shape out here. I think I'll put a circle. And here's the circle. We'll make it a little bigger so everybody can see. But I don't want a circle. I want a half a circle. Now what I'm doing here is I'm just moving it a little bit to the left so that this line here is right in the middle of my circle and that just gives me a line for the point of my slice. So here's my circle but I want to slice it so I'm going to go back over it, pick up another shape. And this time it'll be a square. I'm going to change the square to white so you can see what I'm doing. Now I'm going to put it over that circle and it needs to be bigger, but I don't want a bigger square. I just want it longer a little bit. So I unlock it and I'm coming down and now I can move it. Now don't forget that line right here was my guide for the middle of this circle. So the whole circle is now covered by part of this square and you can see the square is highlighted now if i hold down my shift key while this is highlighted and click on the circle so that they're all highlighted now down on the right hand side you'll see the word slice and what that does is cut the circle in half there you go all right, and there's one other way you can do that. I'm going to show you some magic here. I'm going to put these two right up close to each other. Select the whole thing, and I'm going to weld it. And I have my circle back, but that's for another day. <laughs> okay, so now we just take the shape like we did before, the square. I'll change it to white. I'm bringing it over. And I didn't make a center point, but this looks pretty close. I'm going to cover the circle. I've covered half of the circle or thereabouts. Now with my arrow, I'm just going to circle the whole thing so that it's all selected. Now I can do slice. So I didn't have to hold down the shift key if I wanted to just select the whole thing. Okay, now the biggest hint I can give you about slicing is that you can only do it on two items at a time. And let me give you an example of why. Let's get an image. Okay, here's an image here, and we'll put this on the page. Okay, now I don't want the streamer, the rope, the string, or whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to get a shape, I'm going to get a square, I'm going to bring it over, I'm going to unlock it so I can make it whatever shape I want it to be because it doesn't need to be that wide. And I'm just going to cover up this whole string. Now I'll select the whole thing, but look down here, the word slice is not lit up. And the reason it's not lit up is because this is multiple layers and I can only slice two pieces at a time. So the first thing I have to do is ungroup this. Now we'll say, look, there's a yellow layer, there's a brown layer, and here's the orange layer that has the tail on it. So now I can put my square and I'm gonna bring it to the front. 
Now I can put my square right on top of it. And I can select the whole thing. And now you see slice is lit up. So now I'll slice it. And I get rid of this tail completely. There you go. So now I could put my brown layer Here we go, I put my brown layer back. Now I can't group all three of these either. Any Anything you do can only be done with two pieces. So what I'm gonna do is select this whole thing and tell it to group. Okay, now, now that is one piece and this is one piece. So I'm going to bring my yellow one back in. I've got to go to the front again. Put the yellow on. Okay, down a little bit. Oh, a little too far. There you go. Now I'm going to select the whole thing and I can group it. And now I have my balloon without the tail, because we got rid of that. All right, we'll do slice one more time. We'll move him over. Let's see if we can find another image. Uh, let's do maybe a truck. Oops, I didn't put it in there. I'm doing this with two two fingers because my microphone is in front of me. Now, let's see. This is an interesting truck here. I'm going to try something and see if this works. Let's try this. It's it's almost like a um silhouette. Let's go back and get another image. And here's another truck, but it has a different front on it. Now, we're going to try and change this front to go on this truck. So I'm going to get a shape, going to get a square, going to make it white. And I'm going to cover up the front of this truck. right up to there now i'm going to select whoops get over here balloon now i'm going to select the whole thing and slice lights up look so now i've sliced i can get rid of this end of the truck and here's the cab okay we'll get rid of this we'll get rid of this and we'll get rid of this so now I'm going to do the same thing with this truck. Get a shape, a square, I'll make it white, and I'm going to bring it up and cover the front of this truck. Now I will select the whole thing. And you see these are single layer images. That's why it will slice. And I can slice it. I can get rid of this. And I can get rid, oops, I didn't want to do that. Wait a minute. There you go. I want this. <laughs> I can get rid of this. And I can get rid of this. And I can get rid of this. All righty. So now I'm taking the front from the other truck and putting it on this one. There you go. Now I'm going to select the whole thing and I'm going to weld it, which just is exactly like you'd think if somebody had a welding iron. I've welded it together. Now I have one whole truck with a different front on it. And that's all done by slice. So if you want to slice, you use two pieces. You 
you cover up what you want to take away then you highlight the whole thing and hit the word slice and now i have a truck that's in two pieces there you go so that's how you do slice and we're going to be playing a little bit this week and one of the things that we need to be able to do with the project i'm working on is slice so i thought i'd just bring you along and show you how it is done so now we just get rid of all of this and here's our balloon and we'll just write Have a nice day. Oh, come on, boys and girls. There you go. Have a nice day. Play nice now. Bye.